Sorry, starred. Ah, crap, I thought it was 5.30. Wait, maybe it was 5.30, I don't know. Maybe I'm the one who's wrong. I wrote that down too. I was like, I love it. I did 135 hours, Monster Hunter World, dual blades. Uh, That's where you get it. Are, get in there. Yes, it's no, just, it's just, dual blades. Okay, all right. Seems like it hasn't started yet. 100%. All right, never mind. We haven't missed anything. Okay, let's go. But not quite right now. Yeah, so I had to rush for it. I've got food here. Let's go, like, eat real quick and we'll be ready to go. Hopefully I'll be all finished before the stream starts. That was a great one. Thank you so much for that, uh, Monster Hunter AMA, of course. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you have questions you want answered at E3, hashtag E3 2021, you can get your comments on the little ticker that goes by. And of course, we're running polls throughout this. We've been running polls all day long yes. about the old Capcom. There, it's fine. All they're doing is talk about Monster Hunter Rise. That's like, all right, I'm already sold on Rise. I've missed nothing. <laughs> Course, be hosted by our friend Seltzer. Then uh, we're, we know we're gonna get stuff on the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. We're gonna, we're gonna get stuff on Monster Hunter Rise. We're gonna get stuff on Monster Hunter Stories Two. We're gonna get Resident Evil Village. Oh yeah, Monster Hunter Stories, Stories Two is a thing. Stuff. All right. Of course, I still hold out hope for more on Resident Evil Four VR. I hope more on that Resident Evil multiplayer. So I feel like the big then, joke really of this stream is going, going to be free Megavid Legend Three you like cowards. Sorry, guys. I went down to rabbit hole. I don't want to get anyone. Um, if we don't get a Megavid Legends news, we're gonna be very disappointed we'll but i'm also we'll not expecting us to get a content they're pl planning to sure. the table game's yeah. been a massive hit i'm expecting them to come out talk about that and also maybe give us some new stuff yeah, yeah. jackie what do you want okay so i am not super into puzzle mystery games just okay. being completely honest but i mean ace attorney just totally plays to me obviously i'm a big weeb i absolutely adore <laughs> anime so missing. just seeing the protagonist being like yeah I, I guess ace attorney like, is a puzzle like, game isn't it because it's like logic puzzles also there's a character in there named herlock shones I mean, Best that alone, I'm just yeah, like, I'm, I'm exactly, I was like, I love this, so I'm definitely here anybody. for it. It's so smart, exactly, right? right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll be getting it, of course, Ace Attorney, uh, the Chronicles here, the great Ace Attorney Chronicles, uh, two games that were released in Japan, finally coming here on July 27th, and it's about time, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you've been waiting Yay! for. Right? The Capcom presentation is starting in five, four, three, Good two, one. Well, crap, I guess I'm going to have to eat during the thing, but whatever, we got here in time. That's all that matters. You know, it's fine. If something exciting's happening, then food can wait. You know, we, we work with what we got, right? Okay. E3 exclusive. No lucky this time, unfortunately. But, like, that's fine, yeah. Yeah, that, that certainly is a logo. Holy crap, we finally got Capcom the video game, guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> Welcome to the Capcom E3 Showcase. I'm your host, Wilson Clark, <laughs> a.k.a. Seltzer, and I'll be your guide as we walk through the latest releases, news, and updates from Capcom. We'll hear from the Resident was, Evil Village team. Was it the premiere of the logo again? <laughs> that looks like the classic logo. I can't tell the difference. Alright, I'm like joking, of course, but yeah. Our first stop today, Resident Evil Village. The Resident okay. Evil franchise continues to pioneer the latest and greatest in survival horror. The team has been blown away by the response to Resident Evil So I heard Village is good. Last month. I've like, people seem to like it. I've never been a big Resident Evil fan. I know nothing about it. All I know is that like, eight foot tall vampire lady has a monster form and everyone's too cowardly to loot it. No, where's the monster form fan art, you cowards? Oh no, the stream's messing up. I think it's okay, I guess it's fine. Go on, rest now. 
Yeah, that certainly is a big organ monster. I feel like the thing about Village that I appreciate the most is that they managed to work the aid in there. That's really clever. ...to thank everyone who's played since we launched the game in May. We hope you're enjoying this new chapter in Survival Horror. As a reminder, everyone who purchases Resident Evil Village will gain free access to our online multiplayer title, Resident Evil RE-verse. Who cares about RE-verse? Dude, that... I'm now happy to yeah, those effects don't look good. Go live next month across all supported platforms. So oh, yeah. That that looked really bad. Why would you show this? Well, I guess if they're giving it away for free, then they don't really care much about it either. But still, digital DNC for Residual Village. All right, nice. Kandasan for that wonderful update. Next up, some long-awaited news from the world of Monster Hunter. Whether it's adventuring okay. alongside monsters or battling them with friends, we've got something for Did you. Did someone in the chat just First, say Peppa Pig? What the crap? The story -based RPG All right. The series. Monster Hunter story chat be crazy as usual. Really yeah, what, what, the, what was that effect? That was... Like, I don't get seizures. For a second, though, that felt kind of seizure-inducing. <laughs> okay, yeah. <sighs> oh, this is Monster Hunter Stories. Oh, heck yeah. Man, I really need to play Stories. Like, I played the demo. I really liked what I saw of it. Like, I went there to see it's one of those ideas that, like, you know, I kind of joke about, but it's actually real. And I kind of dig it. That's when I met you. Like, I'm sure, you know, people don't care for it. I'm sure people are like, oh, this is stupid. Duh, duh, duh. I don't care. I won't fight monsters with the Rathalos. That's awesome. Like, if I can RPG a Giganox to, like, fight as an ogre, I'm happy. <laughs> it's said that a beat of its wings can bring about waves of destruction. Many people believe there's a connection between the strange happenings and the wings of ruin. Oh, okay. The pits are appearing everywhere, and they're emitting a strange light. So it's basically, was a, like, frenzy virus, but not. I feel like they do this plot for a lot, where it's like, oh, there's strange, mysterious thing making monsters go crazy, but like, ah, that's fine. Oh, heck yeah, oh, Bracadios! <laughs> okay, yeah, alright, this looks sick, I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> Oh, uh, you get, like, the legendary Elder Dragons? Oh, Teostra! <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm actually getting hyped now. This is sick. I dig it. <laughs> I don't care if the art style's super cartoony and kind of kiddish. Like, that's rad. <laughs> like, screw these people doing the sleep faces. This is cool. Ah, oh, it's that stupid cat thing, though. Ah, oh, he sucks so much. Man, I can't wish Lucky was here to see me get hyped over this. Ah, oh, that'd be fun. Ah, oh, Mikitsune. Whatever it's called. Yeah. Wait, was the first game only Sword and Shield? Cause if so, then they're revealing like new weapon types and stuff. Yeah, I think the first game was just Sword and Shield, wasn't it? I could be super wrong, I don't remember the duo super well. I remember liking it. 
but was like just the demo, so you know. Man, if only there's a way to stream Stories 1, I'd totally do it. That'd be so much fun. Oh my god, get the dog! <laughs> Yes! Yeah. Dude, I like that the dog is just canon to Monster Hard just overall now. Like, it's not just a Rise thing, it's in other games. Chance for you to save data to the full game? Alright, that's always fun. Man. I really should, like, buy Stories 1 and just play through it on my own time. I always want to, but I never really got around to it. Looks pretty epic, right? And how about that announcement? I mean, I don't think epic is the word I'd use to describe it, but it looks Monster cool. Stories too, as one of the new in the looks real cool. Soon after the game's yeah, release. like, I absolutely and do. <laughs> what are these Monster people Monster saying? No, two. screw it's off. You can ride a friggin', like, winged lion and blast people with, like, a fire hyper beam. That's cooler than anything in the last 30 years of Pokemon. Well, Anna, do you ride Rayquaza into space to blow up the meteor in, like, the effing Aura's reboot or whatever? You know what? I take that back. That was actually pretty cool. It's cooler than anything in the last couple games of Pokemon, I should say, then. Man, look at all these people who hate fun in the chat. Yeah, this totally makes sense for him to do the crossover. Cause like, yeah, why not? Ah, damn it, more egg quests. Why are egg quests still a thing? Nobody likes them, they suck. Like, I've never gone through an egg quest that's been fun. They've always been either like, you know, terrible or just bearable. Oh, hey, Camellios is coming back. Oh, that looks cool. What the crap is that thing? Wait, does Play Possum actually make the monster want to go away? Because if so, that's kind of fun. If, if it has an actual use, then that's nice. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Why are people disappointed? Rise is a good game. Like, it's there nice that it's getting support. Fan, yeah, like, get excited Rise for crap. Dude, Stories we looks good. Stories of adventure. Well... That's the only thing Capcom has in store like, I will ride an Elder Dragon, that's sick. New chapters to explore, but the release of the great Ace Attorney Chronicles. North American and European future attorneys will finally be able to get their hands on the great Ace Attorney Adventures and the great Ace Attorney 2 Resolve, Man. which were previously only available in Japan. There's something Which really weird about, like, not Japan, doing, like, like, you know, like simultaneous you releases, and years later being like, hey, yo, that now thing we didn't give story. you, here's a big event finally giving it to you guys. Like, I don't know if E3 is, like, as much of a Japanese thing, or if they have their own conferences or whatever, but, like, if you're Japanese and you're watching E3 for whatever reason, like, subtitled, then, like, this entire announcement is just like, hey, here's a thing that's been out for six months. It's finally coming to somewhere you don't live. Like, don't get me wrong, this looks cool, and I'm glad it's coming out. Like, you know, 
I'm excited to play through like old timey mysteries. That sounds like a fun time. But still, it's like we should have kind of already had this, right? It would seem the truth. I mean, is that even like a hot take at this point? The defense demands its right to a cross examination. Hmm. Absolutely brazen. Stabbing scoundrel. Completely contradicts the facts. Good gracious. Objection. My lord, with all due respect, this is an Oh hey, it's super ancient Edgeworth. Can we make that a thing? Like, there's War Greymon, there's Ancient Garubon. Can we have, like, Normal Edgeworth, War Edgeworth, and Ancient Edgeworth? Ten new cases and eight mini escapades. Edgeworth X. Now, we all want to see some gameplay, right? Let's take a closer first look. Man, it's gonna be really cool when we finally get to see Blitz Edgeworth in the Phoenix Wright anime remaster. And summation examination. Hello, I'm Jonathan. All this time, and we still haven't even made it to Mel Edgeworth. So this is the capital of Great Britain. Where to? The Supreme Court in Whitehall, if you wouldn't mind. The Capcom team is thrilled to present two new gameplay features, Dance of Deduction and Summation Examination, coming to the Ace Attorney series. Wait, Dance of Deduction? Oh, right, yeah. I thought you said Dance of Seduction for a second. I was like, okay, wait, what? Investigating to prove your client's innocence, players will come across conspicuous situations that require further examination. With the help hmm. of Rianoske's legal aid, Suzate, and the brilliance of deduction from Detective Herlock. Herlock Shelms. Yeah, alright. A woman? Don't be absurd. As you can see, there's no buy but me in the cabin. His logic and reasoning spectacular. A grandiose yet flawed series. Oh, uh, we have to prove he's a woman. Oh, he's a villain. I thought we were just gonna pull Daz's fake beard and be like, no, this man is actually a girl. Go away the copious beard you sport. Oh. As you cannot fail to observe, the subject of the article possesses an extremely copious beard, just like yourself. I know the article itself, you decided to remove your incriminating facial hair before it gave you away. You are the fearsome Russian revolutionary himself, villain Boshark. Yeah, Boshark. Okay. Inosuke and Susato will then discuss to correct the flaws in Herlock's deduction. At this point, players yeah. are prompted to search for clues that help identify the errors in the detection oh. and reveal the truth. Oh, that's fun, actually. You know what? I'm way more on board with this than Cyclox, that's for sure. As players present new evidence and observations, Herlock will amend his Herlock just says stuff and you have to like prove he's wrong. <laughs> Upon uncovering the truth, Yunosuke and Herlock enter into a semi-metaphorical, semi-literal dance that brings them to the conclusion of the <laughs> dance of deduction. Oh, it's not that he's like the revolutionary, he actually was a woman. I mean, honestly, kind of obvious, but yeah, yeah, still fun, still clever. I like the misdirect. Yeah, the only thing is, like, I hope that sometimes Herlock actually does say something that's right, you know? Because if, like, every time he's wrong, that's gonna get a bit old, I think. Still, though, this is cool. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it was a fake beard. A suddenly his boobs. 
<laughs> hey, that's the magic of character models. <laughs> Yeah. I'm down with this. Players will attempt to convince six jurors of the innocence of their client. Their progress will be displayed and represented by two scales of justice. One black. Oh, are we bring back the thing from the like crossover game with like Professor Lin where we have to actually like we have to do to like testimony from six people at once. All of whom provide explanations as to why they've reached their guilty verdict. Man, I hope they bring that back. That, okay, yeah, that's totally what we're doing. Because that is like a fun mechanic. Even if it's not like mechanically much different from how this normally works, it's still just such a fun little idea. Just the fact that you're like bouncing back and forth between like all these different characters is so cool. Like, there's just something about, like, you know, you're arguing with, like, an entire room full of people, and you're winning. Contradiction in their claims. If you successfully point out one of these contradictions among the jurors, you might just change their minds, too. With a slam of their fist, each juror you persuade will send a fiery ball towards the scales above and literally tip the scales of justice in your favor. Okay, that's good. That's cool. I like that. And persuade the jury to help prove your client's innocence. Objection! My lord, with all due respect, this is an outrage! This is just been So here's the question. Can they take the fire back, or is it just like, yo, know, once you get it in there, it's just good to go? In the hands of both new fans and diehard fans alike. Thanks for watching. Man. I can't wait to get into a case where it's like you shoot the fire into the thing, but then it's scripted that the prosecutor shoots the fire into the other thing too, so you have to be like neck and neck the whole case. showcase with a few words from two of the stars of Capcom Fighters, Rob TV and Vicious. They'll tell us what's been going on with Capcom esports, including updates on the Capcom Pro Tour, Intel World Open, Street Fighter League, and all the other. Ah, jeez, oh, more Capcom, Capcom fine games. All right. So here's hoping. Hopefully it's good. What's Capcom fine games game? haven't been great for a good bit, but like, hopefully they knock it out of the park this time. They've got the potential. They've like got the right ideas. They're getting the, like, stuff together. They're just not getting it together. Like, all the other little stuff that matters is just falling through the cracks and it's killing everything. Oh, you're not gonna announce a new fine game? You're just gonna talk about esports? Alright. What competitive Street Fighter 5 is. The long and the short of it is this. We travel all around uh, the world, state to state, country to country, and we try to bring our opponent's life bar from 100 all the way down to zero and feel Wait, what? You're, doing. That's you're, I'm you're literally I'm explaining how Street Fighter works to an E3 audience. Possibly a world champion at Street Fighter 5. Why? <laughs> Dude, it's a life bar. What what person in the right mind doesn't know what a health bar is? It's like it's the most basic mechanic any game could ever possibly have. So behind me, you can see. I mean, I'm sure that was hype in the moment, but I have no context, so it just looked like a guy winning. And that's a place that you are very, very familiar with. That's right, we take all of our events and broadcast it live from the stage. I feel like that's kind of the problem with, like, you know, fine games in a sense, because, like, you have the hype combos and stuff, but it's like, yo, what does really cool, like, intense match look, like, high-ranking matches look like, right? 
they look like, you know, two characters just jumping around and sort of like, you know, playing footsies and going back and forth kind of slowly. Like, the actual tension of, like, neutral game isn't something that, like, a casual person can look at and be like, that looks fun. Because, like, all the cool stuff is these big combos that happen where, like, yo, the other guy has, like, no control, right? It's like, best case scenario, you could show someone, like, balking a really crazy string and, like, doing a counter or something, and that'll look cool. Or you'd show, like, yo, like, supers or specials colliding or whatever. Yeah, like, switching between blocks is, like, at least kind of cool looking. But, like, that's not where the tension of the game is. It's in these moments where it's like, okay, who's gonna get the hit off and like start their big combo? Now you actually have your teammates at your back, and every decision that you make is not just about you anymore. Look for more news. Like, maybe I'm wrong, but that's kind of like what Street Fire is all about, isn't it? Like those moments between the big combos where you like get a couple hits in and you have to like, yo, know, try to like set up for like easier combos the next time. It's like those moments where you're like, you know, you're getting ready to knock a guy down before you put up the Aegis Reflector and you can just keep going. Man, it'd be really cool if we had have some kind of fine game that made like neutral look way more exciting than it does. Cause may that's like too hard to do or it'd be like too weird or whatever. But I feel like that'd be neat if you know it was like. Maybe there's like, yo, like, side passive stuff you could be- Ah, ah, no, man. I know what I'm thinking. Well, it feels like there has to be some solution to this, cause, like, there has to be something you do to make, like, the tensest part of the match look good to normies, right? Exciting season oh, so far, and I can't it, it was just for the Street Fighter 5 Capcom tournament. Fighters. Remember to check out Capcom Fighters oh. Twitch and YouTube channels for more information and to watch the latest matches. Let's see the- alright, yeah, I was just checking just in case. This year. Let's recap what we all saw. Resident Evil Village is back with the latest Wait, is, installment of the survival horror Is it over? RE Burst Wait, what? The franchise's 25th anniversary. Are, seriously? New adventures to embark on in the world of Monster Hunter with Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, I, and Monster Hunter Rise. A third of and this wasn't... Back in time with the no, it's like more than... It was like half of this wasn't and even announcements. Right and solve new cases. Half of... Finally, no, wait, no, it's worse than that. Because sure we already knew the Phoenix Wright game was fighters. coming. There really is something for everyone. Like, it's already at Japan. Join the conversation on Twitter. Make sure you check out the Capcom oh my God. on the E3 portal to watch all these videos again and more. I'm Rachel Quirico, Dude, Capcom. Now you're like one studio, but like... This year. Like, let's look back through this for a second. Like, alright, like, Monster Hunter Rise and like Resident Evil getting DLC. That's not an announcement. New Phoenix Wright game, we already heard about that. That's not an announcement. That's like, it's just a game that's getting localized and already- Ah, that effect again. Yeah, like, only a fourth of this game actually showed new shit of the stream, not this game. This- this conference. This, like, this Capcom video game, if you will. <laughs> ah, that- that was shit. Well, like, 
Is lackluster a square was? At least, like, yo. At least they showed something. At least there is stuff to talk about. I. Dude. Not gonna lie, though, that's How does this not feel me. worse um, than nothing? Plus, that was like 20 minutes. Square spent longer than this conference <laughs> announcing. Um, like, doubt, I am absolutely hyped for this conference story. announcing really new things took less long, time than uh, Square did that, showing that, Guardians of the Galaxy. You know what? It took less time than Square showing Guardians of the Galaxy without music. The announcements for this, like, conference were shorter than, like, how much of Guardians of the Galaxy had to be muted. Holy crap. Am I gonna get into this story? And uh, this trailer conveyed that. Um, I think for me, it, what stood out was um, hearing. I think it was <laughs> Michael's new crush. She's like, I love white-haired girls with red eyes. He like lit up as soon yeah. as that, I, um, that, that like lovely my... little lady came up on the screen. Um, but I think she was like telling the protagonist something like, you know, this monster can sense fear. It can sense anxiety. This and monster. Monsty, I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, right, right that's a whole dumb thing they do. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, I'm sorry, okay. I mean, Monster Hunter, I like that too. Like, but, um, anyway, yeah, like that really, you can't that even really talk about the story sense. details of you know, stories too. Right? Because it's like so vague and generic, there's like nothing to latch on to. <laughs> So I, it's like, I, I so like cheesy, stories, you know, it seemed like a fun game, game. Like, but like, me, I, I would not does. say this is like a very, like, yeah. in-depth story at all from what I experienced from the demo. Yeah. It seemed really standard and like, basic, and I'm fine with that. That's interesting. Ah, they're, they're, so, they're trying so hard to hype up like nothing. What the world building techniques are and how they're using them. Oh the my god. It looked interesting. I'm like, oh man, I must not have given the first one a shot. I just think that um, sometimes, you know, these trailers, <sighs> they go so hard with being like, look at all the action. Look at how cool this is. And like, here's these awesome visuals. And I felt like they were like, no, like this has a lot of heart to it. Yeah. Um, so I well, definitely. There was very little gameplay in it to be at all, right? Truly, they, when yeah. they finally got to a battle, I was like, what oh, even is this? Yeah, they definitely laid heavy on the cinematics. Um, also, you know, we were talking a little bit about um, Monster Hunter Rise. Of course. And, I mean, man, they have a ton of stuff dropping through June and July. Like, well, all yeah, these collaborations. Well, they have stories, too, right? Like, yeah. They had all these different stuff in there. They had yeah. Monster Hunter block there. Or is this, like, the schedule? Stuff. Nope. Uh, All right, now I have it yeah, somewhere. I know I've got saved got somewhere. Yeah. Give me a uh, sec. Uh, Monster Stories 2 did grab my attention uh, July 9th, of course, but then the trial, June 25th. So you can try it before you buy it. Get yeah. It so we got a bunch of memes, of course, Devolver Max Pass. Three of demos, if you ask me. We're going to have a ton the link more to the thing. And what we thought. But first, we've got some news from the folks at Razer. Take a look. Crap, I know I had somewhere. All right, what are they revealing? The keynote at E3, the world's biggest video games convention. We have got an insane show for everyone today. We have come a long way here Even is this? All gamers by gamers. And today we're one of the biggest gaming brands in the world. We span hundreds of millions of gamers from PC gaming. I don't to care. Gaming to mobile gaming. But what I'd like to talk a little bit about today to kick things off. Is, is this all we have Monday? Just Capcom? And pretty much to talk about the decade. <sighs> okay. So in 2011, we launched the world's first true gaming laptop. And this caused quite Alright, well, guess I'll see you guys around gaming later.